Alright guys, welcome to your third Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk about the math functions in Ruby and maybe something else if we have time. So you already remember from the first tutorial that Ruby can do some simple math, cal math calculations like adding numbers. So if we give something like 4 plus 9 and hit enter, it's going to give us the answer of 13. It can also subtract like 32 minus 14, 14, let me go ahead and type that properly it gives us the answer of 18. Now anytime you want to multiply two numbers in Ruby you have to use the asterisk on your keyboard. Now the asterisk is a little symbol above the 8 on your keyboard. So 4 times 6 would be 4 asterisk 6 which is 24. Now division is a little bit different. Anytime you want to divide such as 9 divided by 3 you need to use the front slash. Go ahead and hit enter and you have 3. Now that's fine and all but division gets a little bit tricky. Say we give us something like 13 divided by 4. Now 13 divided by 4 is 3.25. However, if we go ahead and hit enter, we get 3. Hmm, that's interesting. It didn't give us a remainder. It didn't give us a decimal. Now the reason for this is pretty weird. It gave us the number 3 because you give Ruby or Ruby gives you an answer depending on how you ask the question. Now since you asked it a question with whole numbers, the whole number 13 and the whole number 4, that's why it thinks that you want a whole number is your answer. And that's why it gave you a whole number rounded to the nearest whole number and not 3.25 or 3 and 1 fourth or anything like that. So if you want a number with a decimal point, you have to ask it with decimal points is the question such as 13.0 divided by 4.0. Now when you ask it like this it gives you the answer 3.25 and we'll talk about different data types later on but these are called ints. Ints are basically whole numbers and floats F-L-O-A-T is basically a number with a decimal point. So just remember whenever you want an int answer you have to ask it in ints. Whenever you want a float ask answer you have to ask it in floats. So now, with that being said, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is variables. Now, a variable, if you remember from elementary school, is basically a placeholder for something else. So if I wrote a variable like x equals 15, and I go ahead and hit enter, this is how you write variables in Ruby. Go ahead and hit enter, and now any time you write x, it equals 15. So basically, instead of writing 15, we can just use the letter x in equations in the example of x plus 10. And it basically knows what we're trying to say is, whenever we use x plus 10, we treat it as 15 plus 10, hit enter, and it gives us the answer of 25. So basically, to create a variable, just write the variable name, which is, I'll just say it's y, hit the equal sign, and give it a value which can be something like 69. Now go ahead and hit enter. Now what it does is it stores the value of 69 into the letter Y. So now every time we use the letter Y, it treats it as 69. So Y plus 20 equals 69 plus 20. That's what it views it as. And whenever we hit enter, gives us the answer of 89. So basically just remember, that's how you create variables and a variable is a placeholder for something else. So there you go, there is your very simple tutorial on math and variables. And if you don't understand any of this stuff, again, I need to stress, ask me on my forum, tnbforum.com. I'm gonna be moving a little fast with this, so if I'm moving too fast, just either leave me a comment or let me know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to um, add me on Google+, send me a million dollars, so on and so forth. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later.